Tonight, it'll be the Phoenix Suns going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. And for Los Angeles, both players and coaches have talked about the importance of a fast start. They don't want to play catch up in the standings. Tonight, they'll try to overcome that first hurdle in achieving their goals for this year. Hello and thanks for joining us in Noche La Enavia, the NBA celebration of Latin heritage, both among its players and fans. Kevin Harlan here, joined by our analysts, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. We've got West. Bird is out there with Durant. Then it's Johnson. And it's Russell in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Lakers. Jordan is out there with John Stockton. Then there's Kobe. Then there's Chamberlain. And it's Malone in at the four. Doris, there is nothing like opening night in the NBA. Every fan base just teeming with optimism for the upcoming season. I think all of us are just so thrilled to have NBA basketball back. There's no losses in the losing column. Everybody's happy. Let's tip it off and go. And guys have that little step, and, and these, these first weeks of the season are always exciting. Oh, no doubt. Everybody's bursting with enthusiasm. Players are fresh. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Bird. Over Stockton, Bird with the bucket. You know, being that wide open sometimes leads to a miss, but that fadeaway was money. Here's Bryant, and finish off by Bryant. Yeah, love seeing Bryant just get up and go for it. His leaping ability never ceases to impress. Stockton against Johnson. Passes it to West. Over Jordan. Shot clock reset for Phoenix. Johnson against Stockton. Tries again. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. I mean, that's what I call the prototype. When you talk about catching and shooting, West squares those shoulders, elbow in perfect alignment. Money. The shot's good from Bryant. Good way to start this game. If you want to get him rolling as early as possible. And you know this, Greg. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Takes a shot at the elbow, and there's another one for the Lakers. Yeah, well, we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Now, here's Bird. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. And taken away by Magic. Lobbed up there for Durant. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Boy, KD gets himself right to the rim. Liftoff is complete. Stockton passes to Jordan. Here's Bryant. Offensive rebound. Chamberlain. That's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Here's KD. Here's Johnson. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Johnson's got his second bucket tonight. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. It's deflected. Stolen by Durant. Bird dishes to Johnson. I see him. I see him. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. All right, a moment to check out stats for Durant. He's coming off an excellent season. He averaged about 26 points a game last year. Six assists and six rebounds. And he brings it for them every game on the offensive end. Well, I think you can tell he relishes this role, being the catalyst on the offensive end, night in and night out. Now here's Jordan. That's a miss. He's made one and missed one to the paint. Here's Johnson. That falls. Nice feed that time from Jerry West. 
And it's six points for Johnson. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Their last meeting was in this building where they were able to come out on top. And the last time these two met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll see how the rotations go this time out. Every night it seems to be different. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. It's Jordan on the wing, defended by West. Here's Stockton, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Stockton, just a remarkable point guard. Lights out shooter and an even better distributor. Lakers shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Steve Kerr brings so many great attributes to the head coaching position, but one of my favorites is his willingness to utilize the whole roster. And part of what has shaped Steve Kerr's philosophy is he was a guy who came off the bench, and he understands you've got to keep everyone involved. And Doris with Kerr, a great example. That was last year in their playoff run. No question, Kevin, because injury after injury, Steve Kerr had his reserves ready. What he likes to tell his guys on the bench, stay prepared because you never know when your number is going to be called. And think about it. He had to start end of the bench guys in the Western Conference Finals. Boy, did his philosophy pay dividends. Here's Johnson following the basket by Michael Jordan. Johnson gets the bucket. Johnson's got eight. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Stockton passes to Kobe. Malone outside. Pass to Jordan. The kick out to Bryant. And it's good assisting on the play with Jordan. Bryant's got his third basket of the night right there. Johnson, that's for two. That one wide left. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes. Oh, oh that was a strong dunk. That is nice. Yeah, if you're going to give Brian a lane to the rim, then you deserve to get dunked on. You know how tenacious he is when penetrating inside. Now, here's Durant. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Will Chamberlain picks one up. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. And one thing that's been plaguing the Suns for years, undisciplined play. Greg, I think that shows up most typically in your bottom of the league and turnovers and personal fouls, both categories seven years running. When you're at a competitive disadvantage in terms of talent and experience, you can't afford to make those mistakes. I think Kevin Durant, it's obvious how much passion and pride he takes in playing the game at the highest level. It is such an honor watching this guy work. And KD drops them both. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Now we'll go to David Aldridge. You had a chance to talk with head coach Greg Popovich. Well, Kevin, for the year, they've won all three games they've played against this squad. He said their focus remains the same. Defense, defense, defense. He told me those guys can put a lot of points on the board if you're not disciplined. They have to communicate, rotate, match their level of execution. Kevin, we'll see if they can do it and get that season sweep. Back to you. Appreciate that, D.A. Thanks. We'll see if they can defend and close out on shooters the way they hope to. Yeah, and one way to take a good shooter out of his rhythm, force him to put the ball on the floor. And the other thing, Greg, is avoid fouling. Don't bail guys out and give away points at the line. Bucket is good. Six points for Michael Jordan. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. Johnson kicks it to West. Over Jordan. That one a little long. And smothered him on that mid-range attempt. Well, he sees the play developing, takes care of his responsibility. Just terrific job defensively. Here's KD. That falls. Nice feed that time from Jerry West. 
West has got three assists in the game. Lakers trail by three. Stockton passes to Bryant. Kobe draws the double. Shot clock at six. This one for three. Rebound by the Suns. Johnson down low. He's covered by Stockton. And the basket by Johnson. Now it's a five-point Phoenix lead. Malone outside. And the pass to Chamberlain. And Chamberlain with the stop. And that's just too easy. The size, strength, length. No way to stop Chamberlain once he gets the ball in that close. Now here's West. Bird outside. Second chance shot. They get it back. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Bryant is doubled. Here's Jordan. It's hauled in by Bill Russell. Bryant against Durant. Chamberlain with the block. And the quickness off the floor, the insane reach. Well, one of the greatest shot blockers you'll ever see. The Suns shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And he makes the first. Doris, you've covered so many great basketball players over your many years in this business as a player, coach, and now broadcaster. Who has been your favorite athlete to watch or cover or report on? All right, Kevin. You know I can't possibly name one, so I'm going to just throw several <laughs> names out there. LeBron James has overcome so many challenges as a young person even before his NBA career. So his, his story is absolutely incredible and inspirational. How about Kevin Durant, one of the greatest scorers in the history of the NBA? Or Damian Lillard, who has proven so loyal to his fan base and organization and is one bad man when the game is on the line in the playoffs. Just doing the job on the backboard. Here's Nash. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Suns lead by seven. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. And the Lakers call time here. Let's use this break for a quick look at the squads that really made it happen on the fast break last season. The Lakers second. Yeah, I mean, it's a crowd-pleasing style, right? I mean, this club just got out and ran at every possible chance. Right side Robinson. There's the double team with Pippen. Nice move. Robinson misses. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. And Phoenix with another turnover here. And so Giannis will bring it up for Los Angeles. Seven-point differential. Oh 
It's hauled in by Bill Russell. Russell's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Nash, the pass to Bart. And the rejection by Giannis. Curry against Nash and stolen by Nash. Here's Barkley and the rejection by Adetokounmpo. All right, a chance to check out stats for Leonard. Great showing for him last season. Seventh in scoring. And of course, he's got a nose for the ball. He ranked in the top ten in steals last season. And back to his points per game average last year. He literally propped up the team's offense whenever they needed it. First free throw is good. And so Russell hits them both. And here is Curry. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Outside, out of the Kumbo. As to Leonard. Shoots over Pippen. Leonard with the bucket. Well, efficiency from the mid-range has always been a part of Kawhi Leonard's game. Leonard against Pippen. Stolen by Robinson. And Irving with a clear path to the hoop. And here we go. And the rejection by Pippen. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Barkley outside. He kicks it to Nash. Pass to Pippen. Over Curry. Barkley. It's good on the putback. They are just killing him on the interior. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Offensive rebound, and to Dekumbo. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. And there's Nash. That's good on the assist by Barkley. Nash has got his second basket of the night. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Now, here's Curry. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Well, you love to watch Stephen Curry work from all over the floor. That textbook release, whether it's from three or, in this case, the mid-range. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And Bill Russell slams it in. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Now, Giannis. One second left. And Pippen is a rugged defender, has tremendous length, and that helps him cover a lot of ground. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. The Suns on top. They're up by nine. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. We did. Welcome back, everyone. It's Noche Latina in the NBA as we resume action. And taking a look at the Suns' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, very disruptive in that first period. They never allowed the offense to get comfortable. Under Takumba out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Robinson. Then there's Irving. And it's Curry in at the point. That's the Laker five. And with that, the Phoenix lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from David Robinson. I love watching Robinson work there in the paint. Possesses that strength and touch around the basket. Outside for Pippen. Shoots. Good. And the assist goes to Nash. Pippen's got the lead up to nine now for the Suns. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. 
Curry against Nash. Curry passes to Ana de Kumbo. Six to shoot with the putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Robinson's got four this quarter. Oh, hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. O'Neal and Shaq with the slam. And I'm a big fan of the awareness of Nash on the floor. A, a selfless player who's just fantastic at getting the ball to his open teammates in rhythm. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. Frazier, he's checked in for Robinson. Here's Curry. Down low. Here's Frazier. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Frazier's got his first two points of the night. Well, Stephen Curry knows it's his responsibility to create for his teammates, and he does so there on point. Outside Pippen. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his first foul. It's Pippen on the wing. He's covered by Irving. Shot clock at six. O'Neal kicks it over to Nash. It's stolen by Curry. Now the Lakers on the break. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. Here's Leonard. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. Nash, the pass to O'Neal. Al Barkley. And the rejection by Leonard. Well, tremendous intimidation and shot blocking by Kawhi Leonard. How nice is that? What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. 2-1. Lakers shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And looking at last season's numbers, down below 70% as a team from the line. Chamberlain's checked in for the Lakers. Kobe comes in for Irving. McHale's checked in for Phoenix. McGrady comes in for Allen. The free throw drops for Curry. Doris, do you think it's more challenging for superstars in smaller markets, mid-sized markets? You know, this is such an interesting debate in a world that has become, because of social media, so much smaller. You know, I do think that certain larger markets, L.A., New York, can be a blessing and a curse. It does still feel like that media scrutiny is a little bit larger. When things are going well, it's the best thing in the world. When things aren't going so well, boy, those day-by-day Question after question can probably become pretty tedious. Shots good by Kobe. Well, the IQ is just off the charts for Steph Curry. He senses when the defense has left someone open, and I guarantee you he will put it on time and on target. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That's foul number two for him. Michael Jordan is checked in for Steph Curry. Phoenix also making some changes. Bird, he's checked in for Pippen. And it's Johnson in for Steve Nash. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Now, here is McGrady. Six on the shot clock. McHale upside. And here's Bird for three. That shot misses. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Here's Jordan. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Johnson outside. And again, it's the Suns missing. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest, forcing the miss. Pass to Frazier. From about 19 feet, the shot's good from Jordan. Jordan's got the lead up to one now for the Lakers. Looking at the last game for the Lakers, it was a loss to the Rockets. 
Johnson goes in. Here's O'Neal. Chamberlain with the block. And it's Bryant in the corner. Kicks to Chamberlain. The pass to Andacumbo. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Just five to shoot. And here's Kobe for three. The Lakers rebound. Great positioning on the putback. And now it's a three-point Los Angeles lead. And I'll tell you, the combination of agility, wingspan, and stamina, very difficult to keep Wilt from scoring off those misses. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. And the Lakers making a change here. Malone's checked in. West is checked in for the Suns. Johnson, the pass to Bird. They need this. That's a good shot, and now he's three for seven. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Frazier standing the floor. It's stolen by Johnson. Three on three. Malone with the block. Here's Kobe. And Kobe throws it down hard. And Brian, just a superb athlete, terrific at just imposing his will on the defense on that drive. Johnson outside. Steps back and shoots. Rebounded by the Lakers. Chamberlain got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. And right there, you see how quickly MJ gets into the air. Yet another one of his natural gifts. It's stolen by Frazier. And even three-on-three -three break. That one misses. Some solid defense there for McHale. Here's O'Neal. West trying to free himself up. O'Neal misses. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Pass to Chamberlain. He kicks to Frazier. Passes to Jordan. On deep. It's rebounded by Johnson. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. And, and you look at all the things this man brings to the game. The focus, the resolve, a winner's mindset. I mean, there's a reason why they call him the logo. The first one falls. Doris, you've accomplished so much in your award-winning career. What was your first experience in broadcasting? Kevin, my first experience was I left coaching, and they put Providence College women's basketball on radio. That was the first ever game I got to call. It was so cool. Uh, tell me yours. What was the very first? Did you study this? How did you get into broadcasting? I did. Our high school at a radio station, and the first basketball broadcast was underneath the bleachers, looking through popcorn boxes and legs of the people uh, were standing in the bleachers so that I could see the court from the baseline. Amazing. Because that's where the that's where the telephone cables were to plug in our equipment. Wow. I was uh, 16 years old. Incredible. Remember it very well. Incredible. Very well. <laughs> Great D that time from Jordan. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Great D that time from Johnson. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Here's Stockton following the basket by Shaquille O'Neal. Malone outside. Pass to Bryant. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Kevin Durant. Lakers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Taking two shots.
and he knocks down the first one. And Kobe drops them both. The Suns trail. West outside. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. And so it's the Lakers with it. Stockton with it. Up top, Chamberlain. Pocket six. Jordan against West. Kept alive. Chamberlain the pass to Malone. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Phoenix gets called for the foul. For Los Angeles, they haven't yet missed a free throw. Five for five. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And Malone, a remarkable power forward. His footwork, incredible. And that jump shot is wet. And the Lakers making a change here. Robinson's checked in. And both free throws good for Malone. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Johnson, the pass to KD. Here's Bird. Rebounded by the Lakers. To the inside, Bryant. And finish off by Bryant. Yeah, you, you gotta love the recognition there. Stockton just so unselfish, always looking to find the open man. And the Suns call time here. Russell, he's checked in for Phoenix. Barkley comes in for Burke. And while we've got this moment here, now let's take a look at last season's leaders in converting turnovers into points. Fourth, the Suns. And they turned all those mistakes into points at the other end. That aggressive style really yielding big dividends. Now here's Johnson. Ten points for him. Inside. Here's Barkley. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Allen's checked in for Johnson. One misses for Barkley. The Lakers in the lead. It's Bryant, high post. He's against Allen. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. And a quick look at how the Suns' schedule is shaping up. On Saturday, they'll go up against Chris Epps, Porzingis, and the Dallas Mavericks. Then on Wednesday, they'll head home and take on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for the Lakers. Los Angeles has gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only hitting one of five attempts. And guys, this is where instincts come into play. So much you have to read defensively. Russell not fooled at all. And a wide open look for Jordan. And again, the Lakers no good. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Allen passes to West. Down it goes. That's four made from the field. He's four of eight. Well, this second quarter has proven to be a turnaround. This guy looking much more comfortable all of a sudden. Outside Leonard. Throws the pass to Bryant. Shoots over KD. And Bryant the bucket on the assist by Leonard. And that's now 20 points for Kobe Bryant. 
Jordan against Allen. He dishes it to West. For the three. Kawhi Leonard with the rebound. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Stockton. It doesn't go for him. And Phoenix the other way now. They can look forward to the American Airlines Center after this game. They'll match up against Dallas. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Irving's checked in for Michael Jordan. And for the Suns, Scottie Pippen's checked in for Durant. And it's Nash in for West. Robinson. Barkley grabs the board. Barkley's got his fourth rebound in this one. Allen outside. Back to Barkley. Banked in off the glass. Barkley's got four points now in the quarter. Eight lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. And I'm not sure I've seen a game with more lead changes this early. Leonard against Barkley. Pass to Kobe. Now the dish to Robinson. Stockton with it. Guarded now by Nash. Stockton. Good. There's 10 seconds left in the first half of the game. Passes it to Barkley. Two on the clock. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. One of the best defensive players in the entire league. Kawhi Leonard, so hard to get a clean look against him. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. The Lakers had some issues in the first quarter. As hard as they tried to compete, they just could not keep pace early and ended the period facing a deficit of nine points. The second quarter went a lot better for them and they got right back where they wanted to be before the half and now hold the one-point lead. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, I think they're feeling the energy of this hometown crowd. Sometimes you get a little complacent and comfortable in your surroundings, but no, they fed off adrenaline in the first half. Chat, what do you think about Phoenix? When you think about giving up three or four extra turnovers, that can mean eight or nine points at the other end. That's why every coach preaches it. Take care of the basketball. Bottom line, they need to protect the ball and play under control. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. Oh boy, the battle for home court is on. And, and what a first half of basketball. A game of runs. And the stars have come out to play. Let's dive into the box score. First, the Phoenix Suns team punter with a lot of big names stepping up. KD, not one of them. A little bit quieter than we expected. Six points from 13 minutes and the one steal. Larry Legend, Larry Bird, six points, three rebounds and an assist. Three from eight shooting. Chuck, Charles Barkley, 6.4 rebounds. Bill Russell, dominant, dominant in the paint. He has 6 points, 10 rebounds, and 3 huge blocks. The logo, finally stepping up against the purple and gold. It, he's got 10 points, 3 assists, and 3 steals. Going head-to-head -head with Michael Jordan, it's been a... An epic clash, to say the least. Okay, and leading the way, as far as the box score is concerned, we have Magic Johnson, 10 points, 6 rebounds, an assist, and 2 steals. Really, the guards doing all the work, all the work for Phoenix, and this game could go either way. Just the one point separating the two teams. Let's dive in. 
Not a whole lot happening on the lower end of the box score. Giannis not as uh, dominant as he was in the previous game. Wilt doing the same thing he did last game. Eight rebounds and three blocks there. And let's look through who is performing. Steph Curry, five points off the bench. But the big two, it's Kobe, it's Jordan. This is a scary duo. Kobe Bryant, 20 points and nothing else. No rebounds, no assists, no steals, no blocks. Michael Jordan, a little bit more. He's got the 10 points, but at least he's got a rebound, a steal, and an assist. Kobe, 8 from 13 shooting. Jordan, 5 from 13 shooting. These two uh, lighting it up for Team Ads and the Lakers. This is going to go down to the wire. The winner takes home court in the all-star, what well, all-time matchups final to be to be uploaded to YouTube later this week. Let's take a look at the stats. Pretty even all round. Not a lot coming from uh, from range from Phoenix. That may change when Kevin Durant heats up in the second half. Uh, rebounding numbers. Rebounding numbers, a slight advantage there to Phoenix, as with the steals. But yeah, not a lot separating these two teams. This is going to go down to the wire, I feel. Let's head across to the second half. I'll see you guys for the post-game wrap. If you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game, I mean, he has been everywhere. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half, got inside on demand. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. Bird out there with Russell. Then there's West, and it's Durant, and it's Johnson in at the one. And what you like there, Jordan never looks like he's rushing. Makes quick, solid decisions. Pass to Bird. Back to Johnson. Here's Russell. Bird right side. Malone with the block. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Shot clock at six. Here's Bird. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of ball. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off the six. Now here's Bird. Johnson can't get it to go. Wow, another empty possession out of the gates. 0 for 4 in this half. Brutal. And it's Johnson with the rebound. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Here's West. And cat quick reflexes there. Jordan sees that play and jumps all over it. Terrific defense. KD can't get it to go. Lakers leading by five. There's Stockton. Six points for him. Over Johnson. Here's Malone. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. This guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort, love the energy. Durant for three. The Lakers with the rebound. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Here's Jordan. Goes to the fadeaway and kills it. Jordan's got the lead up to nine now for the Lakers. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Suns. Nothing yet for them in the third quarter. To stop the drought. Good on the triple. KD's got nine. Well, Kevin Durant is a dead-eye sniper, right? He takes pleasure in putting it to the defense from there. Malone and the jam by Carl Malone. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. 
Phoenix calls timeout. Suns trail by eight. Johnson outside. To the left wing. Lynch with a wide open look. No good on the three. I'll tell you, this has not been his game. And he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Chamberlain against Russell. Now, here is Chamberlain. He's tightly guarded. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. Curry's checked in for Los Angeles. Stephen Curry. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Johnson attacking the pass to Bird and stolen by Malone. Here's Kobe and laid in to finish the break. And now a 12-point Laker lead. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. KD passes to Johnson. Back to Durant. Over Jordan. And the Suns miss again. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 14-3 run right now. And Kobe throws it down. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. And that, to me, Greg, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. And some changes here for the Lakers. Antetokounmpo is checked in for Malone, and it's Frazier in for Kobe. And Phoenix also making a switch. O'Neal's checked in for Russell. Now here's Shen. Outside, KD. And here is Johnson. Shot clock at five. 17 foot shot on the way. Nice D from Frazier. Lakers leading by 14. Curry's shot is good. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. And the Suns call time here. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scorers from a season ago. Giannis Antetokounmpo, fourth. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Now here's Johnson. Ten points for him. It's stolen by Curry. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Now Durant. Nine points in the game so far. Bird outside. Looking to end the run. Chamberlain with the block. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Throws it up high. Jordan the pass to Curry. And it's sent back by O'Neal. Chamberlain against Bird. Got that one up quick. Bird's got eight. And how's that for a move? The killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. Curry against Johnson. It's blocked by Shaq. And they'll keep possession. Another shot. And Giannis will weigh it in. Ronda DeCumbo's got his second basket of the game. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Now here's Johnson. And the dunk by O'Neal. And how about the reach of O'Neal there? A huge target for his teammates on these alley-oops. Curry dishes to Antetokounmpo. Now the pass to Jordan. Shoots over KD. And it's Jordan. That time on the assist from Antetokounmpo. Giannis has got his third assist on the night. And so it's West with it. He brings it up for the Phoenix Suns. Trailing by 19. Looking to end his cold spell. And that's two points on the layup. 
He's got 12. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Now, here's Curry. Eight points for him. Bird with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Shaq can't hit. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, and checking out the numbers for Andy Takupo. He's coming off an excellent season. Fourth in scoring, seventh in rebounding, and a top 15 ranking in blocks per game, supplying that backline protection that is so key to a great defense. And clearly one of the dominant scorers we have in this league is top five ranking last year. Puts him right there in the ranks of the elite. And he makes the first. Well, Stephen Curry makes the game look easy. But what you know is he has put in the time to be great. And that's what you have to respect. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Leonard, he's checked in for Jordan. And Irving subbed in for Frazier. A big group substitution here for Phoenix. Barkley, he's checked in for Burr. Pippen comes in for Kevin Durant. Allen's checked in for West. Nash is subbed in for Johnson. Suns trail by 19. Nash, the pass to Pippen. Offensive rebound. Here's O'Neal. Eyes yet again, and it's laid in by Prez. Barkley's got eight points. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. Shoots from 12, and the basket is good. And 12 points for Steph Curry. Well, the confidence that Steph Curry has, regardless of where he is on the floor, yes, sir, I can score inside too, sir. Here's Nash. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's his first trip to the line. The first free throw is good. Free throws, good from Nash. Lakers leading by 17. Now, here is Irving. Outside for Curry. All three off the mark. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Nash with it. He has six. Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. And Shaq with the slam. And Nash, really just pure genius in that pick and roll. You give him any kind of space, and he's going to whip the pass right through the teeth of the defense. And that one, good. Curry's got nine points here in the second half. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time, Greg. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now, here's Nash. Dishes it to Allen. Just five on the clock. Here's Pippen. Again, Phoenix. Lakers leading by 15. Curry is inside, defended by Nash. The kick out to Adetokounmpo. Lakers working the ball around now. Six on the shot clock. Outside Leonard. There's the three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Barkley's got his seventh rebound here tonight. He dishes it to Nash. Back to Barkley. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line.
The Suns have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's Shoot a two. nice all-around effort. First one falls for him. Some changes for the Lakers. Robinson comes in for Chamberlain. And it's Stockton in for Steph Curry. No free throws good from Prez. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Giannis inside. Barkley on him. Here's Leonard. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Barkley's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Kip it. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And there's Stockton. That's good on the assist by Giannis. Giannis has got four assists in the game. Suns trail by 15. Nash outside. Allen outside. Six to shoot. Good on the shot. Barkley's got 12. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Lynn. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? Now, here's Leonard. Shoots over Pippen, and it's Leonard missing. And so Allen will bring it up for Phoenix to the paint. Shot is good, and the Los Angeles leads cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from O'Neal. And it takes a lot to knock O'Neal off balance. A massive player who just fins off the D with ease. Pass to Leonard. Three-pointer. That's good. And a nice assist from Stockton. Stockton's got four assists in the game. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Barkley down low, and it's good. Two points. He's got 14. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. And so it's Los Angeles. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've excelled in the open court. Their transition game has allowed them to build this healthy lead. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision making at every position. we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. Taking a look at the Lakers. Robinson is out there with Malone. Then it's Stockton. Then there's Irving. And it's Kobe in at the three slot. First free throw is good. All free throws good from Prez. 
Lakers leading by 10. Pass to Malone. And here is Robinson. He feeds it to Irving. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Irving's got his first bucket of the night. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Uh, Greg, to me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. And I gotta say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. Now, here is Irving. Robinson passes to Bryant. Five to shoot. Here's Malone. And good that time. And the Lakers lead by 12. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. And then Barkley with the dunk. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Now, here's Irving. Stockton outside. The feed to Robinson. And the dunk by Robinson. I love the show of force there from Robinson. When, when he's deep inside, it is clear for takeoff. Allen outside. Stockton against Nash. Pass to Pippen. Robinson with the block. And they're able to recover. Count it in the Laker lead. has been cut down to just 10 points on the bucket from Barkley. Nash against Stockton. Kicks it to Malone. Phoenix grabs the miss. And his defense, so valuable. Not many can bobble that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for Irving. And for the Suns, Bird, he's checked in for Barkley. West comes in for Allen. And it's Johnson in for Nash. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's West. Phoenix no good that time either. Lakers leading by 10. To the middle. And there's Michael Jordan. The assist by Bryant. 18 points for Jordan. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading. Always trying to create for others. And it's West missing. Lakers have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. And Robinson throws it down home. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. I'll tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Now here's Bird. It's Pippen on the win. Defended by Bryant. Basket counts. And Pippen there, driving hard inside, has the height and athleticism to consistently get it done in the paint. Johnson against Stockton. It's Robinson, high post. The basket is good. The assist from Stockton. Stockton's got five assists tonight. And since halftime, he has been a different player. Johnson right side. And it's Russell at the elbow. Jordan against Johnson. Clock at four. Looking to get it going. Up again. And it's Russell with that extra effort. And this is the problem. The, the length, the timing. Russell, one of the very best at corralling misses and turning them into points. Here's Kobe. It's hauled in by the Suns. Bird kicks to Pippen. Back to Bird. Here's Pippen. Right side, Russell. Johnson outside. Second shot opportunity. He lays it in. And when you have this kind of size as a point guard, what a tremendous advantage. And Magic can really match up with all five positions. And there's the pass to Robinson. 
over Russell. Robinson, that's good. And he has started to turn it on now after that slow start. Suns trail by 12. Pass to West. Johnson against Stock. Back to West. Russell dishes to Pippen. West kicks to Johnson. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Johnson's got four points now in the quarter. And throughout the history of our league, few athletes are truly unique enough to change the way the sport is played. And Magic falls into that category. Kobe's shot is off. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. West misses. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Pippen with the steal. Bird, the pass to Johnson. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance That's here for good. one more at the line. Yeah, he earned one that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. And the Lakers making a change here. Chamberlain's checked in. And the Suns making a change here as well. Durant's checked in. Find the length. Find the length. One shot. And that one falls for Johnson. Here's Jordan. He kicks it to Stockton. Passes it to Kobe. Tries it from 19. That's good. And a nice assist from Stockton. Stockton's got six assists in the game. And this is what we've come to expect from this guy, right? Not only making a ton of shots, but being efficient while doing so. Now here's Durant. Johnson, the pass to Bird. And the shot goes in. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look, right at the cup, nicely done. West against Jordan. Stockton outside. Misses the three. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball on the three-point line. Sent back by Russell. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Giannis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Timeout called the Lakers. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Greg Popovich talking to his team during the break. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. It's just one of those nights where Jordan can do no wrong offensively. And let's talk about the endurance to go along with it. Wow. It's good. And here is Hunter Dekumbo. Pass to Bryant. And it's sent back by Russell. KD looking around. Feeds it to Johnson. No good on that one. Giannis with some nice D. Outside Jordan. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Ante DeCumbo's got five assists in the game. Johnson, the pass to Durant. Now the pass to Bird. 
over Giannis. That one's in there. The Lakers' lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Bird. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Bounce pass on the Kumbo. Chamberlain kicks to out of the Kumbo. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Shot clock at six. Stockton passes to Chamberlain. Here's Giannis. And it's Russell with the rebound. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Shots good from Bird. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. And the Lakers call time here. Lakers leading by five. Pass to Jordan. Up top, Chamberlain. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Bill Russell. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Line for your Lakers, Will Chamberlain. Two shots. Free throw good from Chamberlain. Chamberlain hits them both. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. Inside and stolen by Chamberlain. Jordan with it. Guarded now by Durant. Onto Takumbo. Passes to Jordan. Chamberlain with it. And it's good. Assisting on the play with Jordan. Chamberlain got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. No good from Bird. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Elbow. Two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that brings them within eight. Johnson hits two of them. Lakers leading by seven. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. One thirty-three left in the fourth quarter.
Passes to West. Bird right side. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And that's a double-double for him now. 10 points and 15 rebounds. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. An offensive rebound. Count it. And that's now six points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, so great when your offense produces a shot that close to the rim. The rest of the work becomes easier. Durant with it. Picked up by Kobe. Count it! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And this is what makes KD special. The willingness to absorb the responsibility of the big-time shot. He gets that one. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the backbreak. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. And the Suns call time. They're trailing by seven. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And, and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him to ease up off the threes. Jordan finds Giannis. And the Lakers tack on two more. And once they smell blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. So the first one drops, and that brings them within eight. And both free throws good for Durant. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. Outside Leonard. And so the Lakers take the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Some final results in the standings. Team Ads taking the win here, taking home court for the final and finishing top of the standings at a record of five and three. Punter just behind. This was, this was a good game. This was a great series. And we're, we're going to play out a final. We've got the final ladder here, but... Top two, which is Punter and Ads playing off. The video will be up on YouTube in about a week's time. Probably release it on Simulation Saturday. Wow. Just wow. That was fantastic. Also, congratulations, Team Dan. Although finishing with a record of three and five, still some amazing games were played over these four weeks. Let's delve into the box score. Tracy McGrady didn't really do a lot, but hey, he's he's a low pick. He wasn't a a key piece in this team punter lineup. Ray Allen back to his usual self with the donuts, one rebound and a couple of assists. Mikhail off the bench, really a, a solid effort I would say from Steve Nash. Uh, the, the seven assists 
couple of steals and the six points. Playing a role, playing a role, and that's that's his job off the bench. Uh, Scotty Pippen, a bit better in that second half, better defensively and, and a few points. Shaq, a, uh, a very good performance through this series. 10 points, four rebounds, an assist, and three blocks. Bill Russell, what a defensive monster. 10 points, 15 rebounds, assist, a steal, and five huge blocks to keep Team Punter's sons in the game. Not quite enough, but still. Jerry West stepping up with 12 points for the game, a few steals. KD, very quiet. Uh, notably quiet for this one. I think if Kevin Durant had have stepped up this game, the result would have been very different. Uh, 13 points, no rebounds, no assists, a steal and a block. Uh, a very underwhelming performance from the superstar. Larry the Legend Bird, 14.6 rebounds. Magic Johnson played his heart out, 21 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, 9 from 18 from the field. A very, a very honourable, honourable effort. And the the standout, the standout for Team Punter today overall, actually, is Charles Barkley, 22 points, 11 rebounds, and really helped them claw back towards the end of that game. Let's take a look at some highlights from Big Chuck, Charles Barkley. Really, really tried to, to keep them in it. Some athletic plays, really did some serviceable work on the boards. But as we said, just not enough in this instance. Magic Johnson. Got them off to a, a very strong start, but uh, yeah, no stranger to Showtime is Magic, but once again, not not enough, and if we had seen a huge performance from KD, the story could have been a whole lot different. All right, moving on to the victorious Los Angeles Lakers team ads. The, uh, the role players are doing a, a reasonable drop job. Dr. J dropping two points. Walt Frazier with four points, three rebounds, three assists and a steal. Really getting active in limited minutes. Kawhi, always good coming off the bench. Four team ads. And Giannis, the Greek freak, doing a lot today. Eight points, 11 rebounds, five assists in 22 minutes. Definitely a, a great performance as the, the sixth man in this roster. Big Wilt, not troubling the scorers a lot, but 14 rebounds and four blocks. It was an epic battle with Bill Russell today. Really, really interesting to watch him go up against the likes of Shaq and Bill. John Stockton, 8.7 assists. Once again, very consistent performances and making some really good passes to the key scorers. The mailman, Carl Malone, 10 points and six boards with four blocks, really doing some work on the defensive end. And the Admiral, the Admiral coming to play with 12 points, six boards and a couple of big blocks. But the story of the day comes down to these three. Chef Curry, not shooting the lights out from the three-point line, but really getting a lot of shots up. 14 points, three assists and a couple of steals. And here's the story of the night. The dynamic duo, Michael Jordan, the GOAT. 22 points, three rebounds, five assists, one steal. But being the Lakers' home court, it was... It was the Lakers' favourite. It was Kobe Bean Bryant. 28 points, one rebound, two assists in a very dominant scoring performance. Willing team adds over the line and really blowing that game out when it needed to be won. Fantastic effort. Let's check out some highlights from the Mamba, Kobe Bryant.
He was certainly not messing around today. And of course, we'll check out Michael Jordan's highlight reel. Because we love to see MJ in action, especially alongside Kobe. Trademark MJ fadeaway there. All right, into the team comparison. Final score, the team adds Los Angeles Lakers 123, defeating Team Punter and the Phoenix Suns 116. Not much about the three-pointers of the story of the night, I guess. Um, not much in the shooting percentages. Look, I think at the end of the day, it, it did come down to a couple of key player performances. Delving into this box score doesn't doesn't really show a lot. Even, even the bench was nice and tight. Points in the paint close. Fast break points. Not a lot separating anything. Just a slight higher, slightly higher field goal percentage. A couple of extra shots from the Lakers getting this team over the line and into top spot. That brings our Simulation Saturday all-time lineups to an end. An end on Twitch, at least. The final between the Phoenix Suns and the Los Angeles Lakers will be available in a week's time on YouTube. Link to the YouTube channel is in my Twitch channel description if you would like to go and check out the channel, I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe.